Hi everybody and welcome back to the day before. Today we're going to play more of the game Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem and I'm so excited. Let's do this you guys. Ah oh, Deirdre, you're scary. Okay, we need to find Judge Hawthorne's grave for this. The unmarked graves. Hawthorne House and uh, I think that's it you guys so let's do that so let's find the unmarked graves and judge Hawthorne's grave first and then we'll find Hawthorne House mm -hmm. so I have played this before but it's been so long that I really don't remember much Samuel Paris So, for my channel, I have uh, filmed some videos that I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload them or not because I made them on my new camera that my husband got me for my birthday. And I don't know if I did very well on them or not. So, I may upload them, I may not. Here's one. Oh, I think we somehow drag it, right? There. You stand before the remains of Salem's most zealous and conniving judge. So lacking in morals was Judge Hathorne that he sentenced innocents to death while claiming the estates of the dead as his own. Wow, how rude. Remorseful Judge Sewell. Hathorne never felt any guilt for his part in the Salem Witch Trial. Okay, we need unmarked graves. Where would we find those? I don't really know. Is it that? Or did we already do that? Oh, come on. Gosh, Deirdre, I do not like that. You need to quit. <laughs> right here. These headstones bear names lost we can put a pumpkin right there. To those sentenced for witchcraft. A condemned witch was forbidden from being buried on consecrated grounds, but many victims were buried by loved ones in secrecy, and some may have found their eternal rest beneath these unmarked graves. Oh my. lies the infamous Hathorne Estate. It was common during the Salem Witch Trial that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. The wow. judge himself bought many such lands, and on them built his grand estate. The Hathorne House has since come to represent all the wrongs that were inflicted during the trial. Okay, I'm officially exhausted. Let's head back to the Perry House, okay? Okay. If you're exhausted, what does this say? Try talking to me again. So yeah, I made a couple of videos. And I may refilm them, I may just like edit them heavily and put them up on YouTube, I'm not sure yet. But I have a lot of really cool plans too for like true crime stuff on my channel. I'm really excited. So, any thoughts? First album was better. Yeah, totally. 
It's good. Really? You like this? Why wouldn't I? Yeah, well, they were much better Weird. before they changed their bassist. I meant the case. What do you think about it? I don't like the judge. Yeah, I kind of got that. I think the feeling's mutual. Well, he's a <laughs> Maybe he burned yeah. down the Hathorn house. I think it what? is. You don't think so? I don't think the judge burned down the house. But losing the accused witch's evidence seems a little too convenient. Exactly! Yeah. It's the absence of a case, which is why May should be considered innocent. If May were willing to give an alibi, we could clear this up tonight. She's not talking to anyone, it seems. We are all allowed to enjoy some amount of privacy, but her refusal to be interviewed leads me to believe she is hiding something. I can't believe you, Drew. I thought you were here to help. I can't believe her either, Deirdre. You know, not wow. everyone can be as brilliant and cold as you are. I'm not cold. And I never said I was brilliant either. You need to get May to trust you. If she trusts you, she'll open up and tell you the truth. And then you'll see. You're <sighs> kind of my last hope to reach her. Sheesh. You're good at finding ways to get people to open up. Usually. So find a way. I'll try. Well, yeah, I'll try. Hi. Hey, what are you listening to? You like this? Yeah, we were listening on the way over. First album was much better. Yeah, too bad they changed bassists. Yeah, I know, right? It's just, you don't look like you listen to this music. Why does no one believe me? <laughs> now you know how I feel. May, I know you don't know me that well, but I'm here to help you. I didn't burn down the half on house. Okay. Why does everyone think you did? It's called prejudice. I look different. Or something like that. That doesn't seem like a good reason to burn down a building. What can I say? We're stupid. I believe it's gone. Did you ever visit the estate? All the time. I appreciated it. Oh? Why? Because it's historically significant? It was built by a cold, brutal man who sent a bunch of people to their death because he didn't understand them. I appreciate being reminded of what happens when greedy people stay in charge. Can you tell me anything about Olivia Ravencroft? Anything at all? I can tell you she doesn't get along with my sister. Really? Why? I don't know. They had some falling out a while ago. You should ask her. Do you think Olivia would have any reason to light the Hathorn house on fire? Let me put it this way. Olivia is what we call in this town part of the witch business. Anything dramatic, spectacular, or with fire, she's usually involved. So you think she did it? I didn't say that. I just think it's possible that she could have. Okay, thanks. Did you know Frances Tuttle very well? No. But I know her daughter Lauren has that shop, Luminous Infusions. You ever been inside? No. Why would I go there? I was just wondering if you knew her. I don't. I mean, I know she used to hang with my sister back in the day. But I guess they fell out or something. That's all I know. Look, I spoke with the judge. They don't have anything on you. All we need is an alibi. And then they can't charge you with anything. And they're not going to have anything on me because he can't prove I did it. Then why not just give the police an alibi? That's all they need. I just can't. It's not only about me, okay? Okay, I understand. But I can't help you or anyone else if I don't know who they are. Just, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I can't. Do you and the judge know each other? Have a history? man thinks I'm a bad influence. Why? Because I used to be friends with his son. His son has had an interesting life, and he thinks it's my fault. He holds a grudge against me. Really? That sounds surprising. You live in a small town long enough, people make up their minds about who you are. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It just is. Your sister really cares about you. 
She has a strange way of showing it sometimes. Well, she cared enough to get Deirdre and I involved. Don't worry about her. How come? She takes her work really seriously. Uh, like, she cares. A lot. Like, way more than most normal people do for their passion projects. It's not a hobby. It's more like... something she has to do. Kinda sounds like me. I hope not. It's like her personal crusade, like only she can make it better or something. You can't live your life like that. You need to enjoy it. Enjoy it with people you love. Yeah, believe me, I know. We saw Tegan at the museum. Looks like she's working on an interesting installation. Why don't you ask her? Well, I thought you might have an opinion, or... I don't. Can you just leave her out of this? I don't want her being involved with my problems. I'm done talking, okay? Okay, where's Deirdre now? Well, she's protecting something. Or someone. Okay, yeah, obvi. But what? I don't know yet. I'm getting through to her, though. We have to go to the Hathorn house. Tonight. Tonight? like in the dark yeah do you have flashlights you do remember what i told you about that place right you know what better idea i'll go you stay here and see if maybe may feels like talking to you be careful out there drew there's no such thing as ghosts deirdre i'll be fine no not ghosts people swear there's something in that house too many people believe it to not be true could be a wild animal or a toxic waste dump. I don't know. Just keep your guard up, okay? Oh, wow. That was really sweet. Yeah, all right. Let's not hug or anything. You should <laughs> check in with Lauren Holt. She that still lives kinda there. That was kind of funny. Take the keys for my car. It's way too far of a walk all the way there. And remember, things happen after midnight in Salem. <sighs> be careful. All right, let's go, you guys. Exciting. All right, what does our phone say? Search Hawthorne House for clues. Weird moving through this game. Ooh, what is that noise? Ooh, look, somebody lit some candles right there. This is kind of spooky, y'all. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. What the heck? Oh no, you guys, I'm scared. Uh <laughs> Talk to Frank. Yeah, well, guess where I am right now. I, uh, wouldn't even begin to. Salem, Massachusetts. Joe, how the heck did you guys know? We read about the Hathorn house in the Globe. Suspected arson. Your name was mentioned. <laughs> suspect, obviously. <laughs> Tegan right. Mary mentioned she had hired you to investigate. Hired? Huh. That's news to me. I came here as a favor for Deirdre. Deirdre Shannon? Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, it's a strange case all around. Okay. Are you guys in Boston? How'd you know? You said Globe. 
There's only one paper I know that uses that name. Whoa, nothing gets past you. You must keep Ned on his toes. Well, to be honest, I haven't really talked to him lately. Oh, really? Yeah, us neither. Salem's pretty close to Boston. If you guys have the time, you should come up here and check it out while I'm in town. Really? Yeah, it would be good to catch up. Eh, I don't know, Nancy. With our special detective powers, we might be mistaken for witches. Heard they don't fare well up there. Are you kidding me? They love you guys. Did you know that Salem is the only police force that has a witch as an official emblem? Hmm, I don't think that's true. I'll bet you on it. Okay, you're on. I'll take payment when we arrive in Salem. Maybe in a week or so. Alright. A week? Hopefully, I won't be here then. But if you can make it up earlier, great. Good talking to you, Nance. Yeah, same to you two. Bye. Alright. Uh. Look at this thing. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's find our way to Hathorn House and then don't look behind you. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> okay. Let's find this house. Yeah, once I find Hawthorne House, which there it is, I will let you guys go until next time. Whoa, spooky, spooky. Oh my goodness. You Holt? You're trespassing. This is private property. That scared me. I'm giving you one chance to explain yourself. Let's see. I'm an investigator. <laughs> I'm a friend of May Perry's. What? You're lying to me. I'm not. May doesn't have any friends, except Tegan. So you're either May's friend or you're an investigator but you're not both so what are you you don't know may as well as you think i know her a lot better than you do can i come in well you're not leaving are you my name is nancy drew what do you want nancy drew well i wanted to talk to you about about the hathorn house Sit down. You drink tea? Yes, of course. I didn't mean to lie to you, Lauren. Yes, you did. You wanted to talk to me by any means. Huh. So here we are. So, what do you want to know? All right, let's finish this convo and then Is I guess. Is Infusions your shop? Yes. I'll let you go. <laughs> what do you do there? Just curious. It's a tea room and modern apothecary. You know, before Me. there was a pharmacist, the town relied on an herbalist to provide medicines for headaches and sickness and energy and stuff like that. Interesting. Did Francis Tuttle teach you this? No, I taught myself. Oh, cool. Yeah, that is what neat. What can you tell me about the history of the Hathorn House? Built by Judge John Hathorn in 1695, the man flat out stole the land from the people he sentenced to death. The property has changed hands many times over the years, with Francis Tuttle being the most recent owner. Cool. What were you doing two nights ago? Why do you care? The house was burned a week ago. Well, actually, there's something else I'm looking into as well. I've almost yeah. had enough of your questions. I really do appreciate you talking to me. Are you done with your questions yet? 
Probably I not mail. ever. Of course, <laughs> but I can't find it. Believe me, I've tried to find it. And now the judge has given me days to deliver or the town will take control. I don't have a copy, but I know one exists. Francis told me all the time that the Hathorn House and its grounds would be mine if something ever happened to her. She knew that I would take care of this place better than anyone else. What happens to you? I won't be here anymore. But I have representation, a professional lawyer. Her name's Alicia Cole. She's hmm. helping me out. Look, Lauren, I apologize for approaching you like I did. It was wrong, and I should have known better. I appreciate you being straight with me. I'm sorry, I've been a little angry. I've been dealing with a lot lately. So, I saw the ghost out in the cemetery. <laughs> the scarecrow? Yeah. I've heard there were ghosts out here, but all I saw was that. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> I've seen a lot of weird things. So far, I've yet to find one without a rational explanation. Then there's nothing to talk about. But why does everyone think there are ghosts out here? A town this old is bound to have some unbelievable stories. So you've seen one? You don't live here. You wouldn't understand. So you have. I'm getting a little tired. I think we've talked enough, don't you? Of course. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. What the? Uh. Whoever is doing this, you're not frightening me away. Oh my word. Not possible. That's not possible. Curse not. What's going on? Alright, I guess we gotta watch some uh, cutscenes before I can let you go. I guess it could have been him too. It was too confusing to really make out. What are you talking about? The ghost, Deirdre. The ghost at Hathor. Ah! I saw it. Wow. Never thought you'd try to pull a joke like this. I've underestimated you. This is a really the thunder good is loud. <laughs> Very un Nancy Drew like. It's not a joke. Deirdre, I saw her. Didn't you want me to see it? Didn't you want me to look into it? Well, yeah, but I didn't think for a second that you would. I guess I thought you'd go up there and find smoke and mirrors or whatever it is you do. You're saying it's real? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not used to being so freaked out. Wait, you didn't leave my car out there, did you? What? No, no. Calm down enough to drive back. It's outside. Good. I could get you more chowder. Don't think it'll help. I need answers. Okay, so let's go through it. I do find working... <laughs> something interesting from Lauren Holt. Did you know that Francis Tuttle had a will? Judge Danforth never mentioned that. Because they can't find it, they assume it doesn't exist. So if it does exist, Lauren would get the estate. Yeah. Oh, and that lawyer, Alicia Cole, represents her. How's that working out for her? There doesn't seem to be much progress made. Yeah, well, without a will, what could she really do? to tell you, Drew. It's as weird as Moonchunk cheese ice cream and sandals with socks. But my instinct is... Right. You're not buying Olivia's story that some coven of witches came here to unleash ghosts to take revenge by burning it down, though. Right? Right. It's unlikely anyway. You really think what you saw was real? It's worse than that. I think in order to know, I need to see it again. And you need to come with me. Tomorrow. Okay. And then we can plan road trips to find Bigfoot and aliens and the Loch Ness Monster. Hey, sounds fun to me. It's been a long day. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. You do look kinda... Well, maybe don't video chat with the boyfriend.
at least not until you get the twigs out of your hair. <laughs> I appreciate your concern. Hey. What? You want that chowder now? The offer expired. I was going to say, we make a pretty good team. See? That's proof right there. You are definitely hallucinating. <laughs> Is it just me, or is the thunder unusually loud? There's always an explanation. Gotta remember it, that. More cutscenes? Oh my gosh. Sorry? They have a witch. I'm sorry, guys. I think this is gonna be an unusually really? long video. Can when can we expect payment? <laughs> That's a fire department logo. I said police. Public safety. It's all the same. A technicality. <sighs> There's something I have to get off my chest. I saw a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, what? This case. I've never seen anything like it. It felt real. I can't explain it. What is it? What's wrong? Uh, hold on. I think I've Stay said no before so to you guys that this game Wait, in particular what? is just like watching a, a movie like where it's Be there before you interactive. Kind of like Netflix. Only if you really want to. More Talk than to like me. an traditional Nancy Drew PC game. Ah! What is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that kind of scared me for a second. Yeah? I forgot about it. Good morning, sunshine. What time is it? It's early. Hurry up, get dressed, and meet me downstairs. I have something to cheer you up. Can I save here? My goodness, I think I can. Okay, I'm saving here. <laughs> and you guys, uh, I will see you next time. I think I'm gonna do another Let's Play this Saturday, so we'll play more of this on Saturday. It'll be a lot of fun. Well, I will talk to you guys then. Bye-bye.